With the fourth global event, Ambush, live, as of three days ago, agents are back on the grind and losing sleep chasing after every last global event token they can get their hands on. So with that in mind, how would you like to be able to score 864 GE tokens for 6 minutes of your time without the need for a full squad of regulars or to take on heroic difficulty incursions? If all this sounds good to you, then stick around and I'll show you a quick and easy method for GE token farming. Hello Agents, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and like many of you, I am spending every free moment farming for GE tokens to unlock caches in chase of those coveted classified gear set pieces. And I know many of you have your comfort zones for farming during these GE events, like Lexington, Clear Sky, or even the HVTs, but today, I want to throw something a bit different at you as an alternative to your normal grind. Hudson Refugee Camp is currently paying out 750 GE tokens per successful completion on challenge difficulty plus the tokens you collect for the three boss kills in the final encounter, and all of this in just a pinch over six minutes of your time. For this speed run, I enlisted the help of my friend Nick all the way from Sweden, and we quickly worked out our formula for attacking this mission, which you will get to see in just a moment from both of our perspectives along with the voice chat. Now for those of you just wanting to see the run through, I have included a timestamp in the video description, so please click on that and enjoy. For those of you wanting to quickly see our builds, here you go. I was using a modified version of my Electra Bridge build, a concept that I created a build guide for several months ago. And for those of you who want to watch that original build guide, I'm going to leave you a link in the video description below, but this build is essentially Alpha Bridge, but specced heavily into electronics. Now I have modified it from its original form and that it is now built around three pieces of Alpha Bridge, two pieces of Tactician's Authority, and a Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack. I use superior gear mods with damage to elites along with four 4% 4 seeker mind damage mods. Now since I have the four piece alpha bridge talent unlocked via the ninja bike messenger bag, I have four talents unlocked for my custom crafted M4 which include destructive, ferocious, determined, and skilled. The only piece of classified gear I am using with this setup is the holster, which I got early in this global event and spent the necessary div tech to fully optimize, but it is not necessary for this piece of gear to be classified. The two pieces of Tactician's Authority unlock the three piece bonus, once again due to pairing with the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag, and they grant me 15% skill haste and 10% additional skill power. The whole build concept is that I want to be able to charge up and use my signature skill, Tactical Link, as quickly as possible while pairing with excellent PvE weapon talents like Destructive and Ferocious, which also apply to my skills. Nick was using a full 6-piece classified Strikers battle gear set with 6k stamina, 6.5k firearms, and paired with a fully optimized M4 featuring the deadly, brutal, and ferocious weapon talents. His secondary weapon was the Pecan Exotic LMB with the destructive, accurate, and Pecan weapon talents. Now, when available, he has recalibrated his gear pieces for additional crit hit chance and crit hit damage, along with skill haste. Without his pulse, his build has a base crit hit chance of right around 30%, crit hit damage of 113%, and headshot damage of just about 100%. He has chosen to go with knee pads that feature more damage to elites and overall his build comes in at 26% damage to elites and 39% enemy armor damage along with a skill haste percentage of 30%. Paired with the striker's damage stacks and healing, his build is further enhanced by my agent having the ability to activate tactical links that take his overall DPS to incredible levels. Just as important as the builds are the battlefield assignments and how we navigate through the mission, and this is not overly complicated. We came up with our concept in less than 5 minutes and practiced it a few times prior to this recording, and with a little more tweaking, I'm sure a sub 6 minute run is possible. Hudson will also provide some much needed relief for those of you burned out on Lexington or Clear Sky. Now, to maintain the flow and speed of the combat, pay attention to how we move through the mission and how we aggro certain mobs of NPCs that are necessary to unlocking the next section of the mission while avoiding those that are not needed and would therefore waste time unnecessarily. 
The real payout for this mission is the last three bosses and the mission completion bonus. So getting to the end as fast as possible with the smallest amount of work is what you were striving for. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, but stick around and enjoy this unique dual perspective from both of our points of view as we speedrun Hudson. As always, I would appreciate any feedback, thoughts, or questions you may have to be left in the comment section below. If you could take the time to rate the video with a huge thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more of my Division content in your lives, make sure to pound that sub button, configure and save to receive all notifications for my latest YouTube uploads, and of course, follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. I would once again like to sincerely thank Nick for teaming up with me to get this tutorial recorded and ready for YouTube. And for those of you who wanted to ask him specific questions about his build or anything Division related, I'll leave a link to his Twitter feed in the video description below. Until my next Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out. Ready. Let's go. Doesn't sound like it started. Oh, Agent, it's Dr. Candle. <laughs> I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding that lag. any civilians you may come across. Yeah. The map says some of those people well, it's must your have server. survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need Clearly to have my a fault, hope then. in hell of fighting this thing. <laughs> and the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. Attack like it looks in three, like, and it fits the two, cleaner ammo. One, you wanted to attack. eradicate every last vestige of the textual virus, so we'd be going to the biggest concentration bar. Refugee camp, shanty down. Jesus, you don't think they... Draconian solutions, highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even Anytime. deserve to survive this? I don't have it. Every day, doctor. Every day. Good luck, agents. Uh, medkit. Damn it. Morning. Oh, it's still on charge. Yeah. You hear that, agent? You're walking into Sod. the teeth of it now. Don't forget what Sorry, I said about right keeping through. any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're going to try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle out. Should have done him in. They must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank moved somewhere safe. Don't hide. There we go. Okay. Invisible wall right there. Do you like that? Yeah. Clearly the door is open, but you can't get through. The universe works in mysterious ways. You made it pass without aggroing him. Ah, uh, we did, I girl. Okay, Agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. We'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of the 
see is in the mix, Doctor? Yes. A couple? As in only two? Alright, they're already out. The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves. I'm just gonna yes. run through. I'll take your word for it. Two of them right here. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. I'll go for ammo. Okay. Listen to that fire truck. Yeah, you hear it? Alright, tack, Lincoln. Three, two, one, tack. Alright, I'm gone. Hit the door. Yep. Done. Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. If you want to come get your stuff, I'll go up and witness the aftermath. That should do it, Agent. Solid work. Yes, good work. Now, sample team, listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. 